So how bad is the shortage? Well, experts say we could lose thousands of hospital workers in just the next few years if we don't do something now. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson has more on our top story tonight. Mackenzie. In the last year, you might have noticed small signs that hospitals are running short on staff, like longer waits in the ER or elective procedures being canceled. Several health care organizations have joined forces to build back the workers Nebraska hospitals desperately need. Experts are calling the hospital staffing shortage a crisis, and they're warning it could get worse in the next few years. That's why several groups have teamed up to start the Nebraska Healthcare Workforce Collaborative. Their plan of action is to invest in the future of health care in the state. It starts really at the beginning with how do we recruit and how do we uh, showcase these health professions to high schoolers? How do we then recruit them into our colleges and universities? And then how do we make sure that they can have a fulfilling career outside uh, once they're on the other side of their education? Hansen says we're already short around 5,500 nurses across the state, but those numbers could get worse soon. In rural Nebraska, we're seeing some, some real concern. Um, our, our physicians, uh, roughly 60%, are going to be in uh, retirement age over the next 10 years, uh, 60 to 65% of our nursing teams. And then on our administrative side, very similar, about two-thirds of administrators we could see um, retire. Urban hospitals also expect to lose workers from the baby boom generation. And when rural hospitals struggle with staffing, they have to cut services, which forces people in those areas to come to bigger hospitals. Jeremy Nordquist, president of the Nebraska Hospital Association, says the Workforce Collaborative is hoping to get ahead of the problem by funding health care education and working with lawmakers to come up with long-term solutions. There's no way out of this uh, health care workforce crisis without collaboration and investment. And that that's really what the first thing is us working together, putting the plans together. We have no individual bodies to waste. We have no state dollars to waste. We've got to have a very targeted plan. Nordquist says this isn't a problem they can keep waiting to solve. We're seeing the workforce crisis really from border to border. This is priority number one, um, whether you're a leader of a small hospital or a big hospital. The Workforce Collaboration hopes to secure state and possibly federal funding to offer incentives to students who go to a university in Nebraska. Nordquist says a strong Nebraska requires a strong health care workforce. All right, Mackenzie, thank you for that report.